Hey there, welcome to the locker room. Coach Arias here. Today's message is, did you swear? Did you swear? You know that dirty four-letter word, work. Sometimes people hear that word, work, and they say, oh my goodness, you might as well say the F word, not the W word, work. The only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. You guys heard that one before, right? The only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. We right now, and I'm not speaking on behalf of everybody, but my personal thought is my generation, looking at the past generations, like my grandfather, where they were a little bit tougher, they walked to school miles in the snow and worked 60, 70, 80 hours a week in the steel mills. I feel like my generation is getting a little bit soft to keep it real. My generation is just soft. They quit on everything. Not everybody, but the majority of people I see in my generation just want things had. They want success. They want to get rich. They don't. They want to be rich, but they don't want to get rich. And rich not just financially. They, they, people in my generation, we got to wake it on up. The opportunity that you need, that we need, may be right here in your 20s. Some people feel that, well, I'm only 20-some years old. I'm only 18 years old. I'm only in college right now. I can have fun, enjoy myself. I got all kinds of time down the road to strap it up and get serious about work or serious about life. What you might not realize is sometimes in sports, you get a shot as a sophomore. That may be the shot that you need to take you to the place that you need to go. The opportunity that you need may be happening to you right now in your 20s. And if you don't pay attention to it, it may blow you right by. If you see somebody that effort sometimes seems low, it means that they may probably not be thinking about the opportunity that they're in. They're more so thinking about the obligation. Is that us? Are you thinking about the opportunity? Or are you thinking about the obligation? Success is allergic to average. I heard Eric Thomas say this before. Success is allergic to average. You got to go get to the point where average annoys you. Average things, average people's mindsets. When average starts to annoy you, you start to itch and sneeze when people start thinking average. Now you know that you're ready to start being great. I've heard my friend talk about getting to the end zone. In order to get to the end zone, Marcus Smith says, you got to get outside of your comfort zone. And I think that's so true. We got to get outside of our comfort zone. You can't reach the goal line. You can't reach the end zone if you're staying comfortable. You got to do things that are uncomfortable in order to get to the end zone. So one hand, people say that they want to be great and they want great things, but their habits don't show the exact same things. When your habits are great, you'll be attracted to greatness. You'll be great, great things will be attracted to you. But when your habits are weak, you will attract weak. So we got to make sure that our habits are going to attract the things that we want. We got to stop counting the cost for success. If I count the cost to everything, I'll probably give up on everything as well. Some of the most beautiful things in life are the toughest things to work for. And if you start counting the price or counting the cost first, you might not even get started because you're so afraid of the, of, of the sweat, of the grind that it may cost you. Just say, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do and not look back. And what happens is if you do whatever you gotta do and don't look back, one day you will look back and you'll see the reward. So today's message is, did you swear that word, that four letter word, work? Do the work because the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary. Follow some of these tips. We'll be on our way to living our very best life. Thanks for joining us this week in the locker room game. Looking forward to seeing you all next week.